Hello and welcome to another Applied Energistics 2 tutorial. In this video I will go through subnetworks. And what do I mean with subnetworks? Well, a subnetwork is a dedicated network that is probably connected to your main network but limited in some way. For example, we can have a network in the blue network where we have basic building blocks so that's the blue and we have the white network which is tinkers construct items and when we have the main network with perhaps me controller and lots of storage and perhaps perhaps lots of machines or anything and this is so to say our main and if i want to connect to the sub networks but with some kind of restriction then we talk about sub networks. So I will use ME interface and storage buses to connect different networks to each other. And well, yeah, you can see here the, the energy cell is connected to all three networks, but I have quartz fiber here that, that makes, makes sure that we have no connection between blue and yellow. Um, and the white network is also separate. So we have no connection between the three except for power only. Now there are probably different ways to do this but I will use the ME interface and a storage bus as I said. And we can see here that the interface directly used one channel in this subnetwork, the blue network. And when I connect a, a storage bus and a blue, uh, the, uh, the yellow cable, also one channel there. We can check the main network and now we have access to the building blocks. But if I go over here, we have no access to the yellow network. So this is now a sub network, still within the same network, but different levels, so to say. Now this can be changed a little uh, we have the IO mode in the storage bus and if I check now it's in bi-directional this means that if I put planks you can see we have 256 planks if I put half a stack we get 288 and over here I can see the same 288 so that means when I put items in here the storage bus will recognize that we had planks over here already and will place the planks in this network. Now this can be changed. So if I set it to extract only, that means that we can still see our 288 planks. But if I put the rest, we will get the 320 as expected. But in this network, there's still only 288. And we can see this more clearly if I remove the yellow cable. Now here we can see the 288. And here we have 32. Because when I had it in extract mode only, I was only able to extract from the blue network to the yellow. But when I put in the last half stack of planks, they ended up in this network. And now we put the storage bus into insert only. And now when I place my wooden planks, they still end up here. But if I want them to end up over there, I will have to reformat the storage bus. So if you see here, we have the formatting area. I, now I'll tell you that the oak wood planks will be inserted in the sub network. So now when I place my oak wood planks here, they will disappear. But now I have 320 over here. So those are the three different modes. Bidirectional, insert and extract. And you can use the filtering options to, to, to uh, specialize your, your needs, so to say. Of course, this goes both ways and if I dismantle everything here and let's see. 
Yeah, so if I remove that one and I place this one back and I place the storage bus on this side, then we can get access to the main network. But perhaps we are only allowed to insert and only specific, specific items. So I could, for example, I could have iron and I can pre-format the storage bus. So that means that in this sub-network where we put in a lot of items, they will end up in the main network if there are specific items that I want to end up in there. So you can, you can use it both ways and still have the main network as, as a main and a sub-network and you can use a storage bus in different ways. So you have to first define your needs and then you, you uh, design the network, so to say. Now, of course, what happens if I place the ME interface so it connects to both? Well, yes, of course, we in the both networks, we will have access to everything. Now it says interface between two networks with no filtering whatsoever. You can use the interface as well, but I won't go through that in this video at all. So if I replace this over here and a storage bus and like that, and we have it to bidirectional and we also have do the same thing for the white network and we can have it bidirectional for it to, to start with. We still have a sub-network here with building material. We have a sub-network here with only um, Tinker's Construct items and over here we have access to everything. So perhaps, perhaps this could be useful if you have a Tinker's Construct room with only those parts or a room dedicated for buildcraft or industrial craft but your main network will have access to everything or similar. So there are lots of ways you can configure this these networks but I hope at least you get the basics with these simple steps. If there are any items you wonder about you can check the video description for links to my other tutorials in a uh, played in g62 and always feel free to ask me if everything is unclear but thanks for watching and i hope to see you in another video bye bye